Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. It is time for me to share my merch box with you guys. Um, first up, I'm gonna tell you I already opened it. One of the items I immediately took out and started using, um, it is at the bottom of my purse probably. I really, I used it all day yesterday, now I can't find it. So it's either at the bottom of my purse or it's at my office on my desk. So I'm not gonna be able to show you guys that. But this month is about natural wonders. Um, and like healthy products, natural ingredient products. So first up, I will go ahead and open. And the tissue paper this month is all green, which is really cool. And April's always a fun month for me because it is my birthday. And um, last year, this time, I was heavily pregnant, ready to go at like a moment's notice, literally. I was hoping that my son would come early. Um, I did have, I had a scheduled C-section, so I knew exactly what day he would be here, and I knew, you know, I knew that it would be then. But I was in that, like, you know, I was hoping that my water would break prior to that, and I would have to um, go into the hospital before then, because we waited, she, my doctor, I say she, she let me go a week before my actual due date, but I was just kind of like, oh, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm ready, I'm ready. Anyhow, so that's what I was doing last year. Um, last year's birthday, my birthday is the towards the end of April. It's April 26th is my actual birth date. Um, and I was just hoping that my son would decide to be born on my actual birthday, and it didn't work out that way. He was born, um, I guess, about five days later on May 2nd. Um, so last year's birthday was kind of just non-existent. I was like so just ready to have him and um, it, I was huge. I was just feeling, you know, not so great. So last year's birthday was like, it, it didn't even happen really. So I still feel like I should just be 29 and not turning 30 uh, for that reason because I just feel like I skipped a birthday. Um, I think, you know, I know my husband and I went out to have dinner, but that was like it. It was like... I mean, seriously, it was nothing. I was so like, get out of me. I was just tired of having or being pregnant. Anyhow, so April is always fun for me um, because of my birthday. And now it's even um, busier for me because like this year, I'm planning a first birthday party for my son. So that is the excitement now. Anyhow, I went off on a tangent, didn't I? Back to my birch box. Um, and it's green paper, which reminds me of April and Earth Day. Um, April's also usually very rainy here, and it hasn't been so much lately, um, which is different. <laughs> Anyhow, first up, the Alima Pure Organic Nourishing Lip Balm in Rhubarb, and it's a lip balm, and I'm so excited for this because my daughter, I used the Pangea Organics Lip Balm that I got in a birch box um, a year, or maybe even two years ago, and I have reordered it um, twice. The one that I had, my daughter, uh, you know how you can make chopsticks go all the way up? She, like, undid it. She has that where she needs to undo it all in order to put it on, and she smushed it. And it just really broke my heart, because I'll have to wait a couple, you know, a week or two to order it and uh, for it to come in and everything. So, my son's playing at my feet. Anyhow, this one is a welcome addition, because it just gives me something to use, because I, I love the opinion it works. Anyway, this is this Alima Pure. That is the color. And it really is not too colorful. It's got a little bit of a kind of gloss to it. Just a kind of a wash. But it's nice. It smells really pleasant, like peppermint oil and whatever else is in it. Um, but that's that. And like I said, I'm looking forward to using that one. Next up is the J.R. Watkins Hand and Cuticle Salve. Now that is... It's like this big and it's in a 10 and it's a salve for your hands and your cuticles. That is what I pulled out and used immediately. My hands are so dry um, and like I get, well, I get this these little bumps right here that really, really itch and I just saw a um, Derm Doc TV episode on why and it made sense and they're kind of gone now but I've got these scaly kind of, you know, patches and um, so that, for one, I like to keep moisturized so that it, you can't really see it. But the other thing, too, is my hands get so dry that right in here, they get white, and I get cracks as well as kind of in here. 
And so lately my hands have been really, really, today they're not as bad because I use that salve all day long. And then, you know, my cuticles are just really shot. So that was like, my hand was craving something. And um, as soon as I opened my box, I was like, oh, let's put that on. And I put it on and it seeped in and it just kind of really did um, its job. I moisturized. So today I'm working with kind of the after effects of yesterday and I really do like it. So I wish I had that to show you, but I don't. I'll have to show you in another video. Um, the Jerlique Moisture Replenishing Day Cream, which is this one. And you know, I just ran out. I just ran out of my eye cream and out of my moisturizer. So I don't know whether to buy the same ones over or to look for a different one. But here's this one and it's a really good size sample tube. Next up is the Wonderstruck by Taylor Swift, which is a perfume sample, which I think I'm gonna give to my daughter. I know she's only four, but she really likes these. And I'm not a fan of um, celebrity perfumes. If you know, you know, celebrity like, celebrity perfumes. I like perfume house perfumes, if that makes sense. Um, but I'm gonna give that to her for sure. The next thing is the Drops Laundry Detergent, which is, Single-use eco-friendly detergent packs, um, which look like this. And these are really cool. There's two of them. And they are, um, they have a little H-E symbol, which I can, I only can use those in my washing machine. Only can use those. I can only use those in my washing machine uh, because it's a high efficiency mach machine and regular detergents will clog the um, interiors up, so. We were instructed just to use HE products. So this is one and I'm glad. And you use one pack for a regular load and two packs for an extra large load. And you put it in the dispenser where you place the rest. So like mine is at the top of my machine. You pull out this drawer and it's in there. That's where I would put this at. And it is just um, kind of a convenient way to clean your clothing. Six times concentrated packs. There's that, they look really neat, and I'm guessing they are biodegradable plant-based surfactants, phosphate-free, NPE-free, and safe for septic tanks, no artificial whitening agents. Also available in Drops Baby and Drops Scent and Dye Free. So that is really neat. I'm looking forward to trying that. That is my box this month. I know I saw um, several other boxes of um, goodies, and. They are, you know, really nice. This one is, it's a, it's a more of a uh, simple birch box, if you will. I know, you know, a lot of people don't really care for their birch boxes unless there's a big, you know, like blush or, you know, eyeshadow or nail polish or, you know, something full-sized that they can just take and run um, with. For me, I kind of like the little things. I like, you know, trying out the small things. Um, the little lip balms. I, that, I don't know. It's exciting to me. Maybe not to everybody, but it is to me. Um, so there's that. I know my girlfriend Mandy at Mandy Makeup Mandy TX01. She got tea and she has this cute little, you'll have to watch it where she talks about tea bags. It's so funny. Anyhow, so she had her box and did her video yesterday and this is mine. I've had mine. Um, I got it two days ago and it's been sitting here. I have this stuff going on up here in my nose. It's draining and it's annoying and I can't talk because I get choked up. So anyhow, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. I thought I turned it off. <laughs> Bye.